Benvenuto. Welcome to Cherry Hill Home Cooking. My name is Mark. Today we're going to go back to the early 1970s and we're going to make a dish my mother called party chicken. I was uh, scrolling through, uh, you know, hundreds of recipes like I do uh, this week and I came across uh, uh, this recipe and I said, I, I remember that. Um, so if you remember wearing bell-bottom jeans or uh, sitting in front of the TV on a Saturday morning in your pajamas with a bowl of cereal watching Saturday morning cartoons, you might remember this. And if you don't, try it because it's delicious. Um, again, it's called party chicken. I think it has many names. Um, my mother probably uh, called it party chicken because that's what it said on the uh, can of Campbell's condensed soup that she probably uh, got the recipe from. But anyway, so now, uh, in this case, I'm going to do um, eight pieces of chicken, all right? I've got four um, skinless, boneless chicken thighs, and I've got four chicken breasts. You can use all boneless uh, chicken thighs if you want. You can use boneless chicken breasts. Um, I just thought I'd uh, do a variety of light and dark meat. All right. Um, so for this recipe, we're going to make this is going to make eight pieces. If you want to double this, just double everything. Um, it would be kind of hard to have it because have it because um, half it <laughs> because uh, we need one can of uh, sweet, uh, condensed um, soup. Uh, so anyway, so you're going to need about the, the same number of um, pieces of bacon because we're going to wrap our bacon in our um, our we're going to wrap our chicken in our bacon. All right, and then we got today we're going to bring back uh, something we've used in the past, dried beef. Yummy, delicious, salted dried beef. We've used this in the um, um, SOS, or chip beef, beef on toast. Um, delicious. Now, keep in mind, we're not going to use any additional salt in this recipe because that is already salty enough. We're going to use a little bit of pepper, but that's going to be the only seasoning we're going to use. Uh, we're going to need one uh, can of... Uh, Campbell's or whatever type of uh, condensed soup. Um, I'm using um, cream of celery. You can use cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, anything you want. We don't particularly like the cream of mushroom. Um, so I use the cream of celery. <clears throat> you need a cup of sour cream. And like I said, we're going to need some pepper. Okay. Now, before we get our hands too messy with the chicken, we're going to talk about a couple of things. All right. Now, there's several different ways that you can um, do your um, dried beef. I'm going to just give this a little spray. Probably doesn't need it, but just in case. Now, um, I've seen recipes where uh, people just take out the chip beef. Uh, so anyway, just uh, in case you guys, I'm sure you've seen it, but that's what it is. It's um, dried beef, okay? So and it's dried in salt and it is very salty, all right? So you can Take it and just line the bottom with it, if you want, all the way across, like that. Maybe double it a little bit, all right? My mother used to shred, uh, cut it like this. And then just sprinkle it along the bottom. So you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, probably 12 pieces of of this if you're going to put it that way and like i said she um i think the reason she did it this way is because i've done it uh, with just the little pieces and when you take it out um it uh you know you, the 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 piece of um dried beef kind of slides off the the spoon and everything so this way you get little shreds all through it all right and I'm going to shred up the rest of those, but we're going to, I'll show you one other way in a minute that you can do it. Anyway, is perfectly fine. One takes a little bit longer than the other. All right. I'm going to put this aside for a minute. And we're going to try to do this in one soup because we're going to get our hands uh, all contaminated with the chicken. This way, if we do this first, I won't have to wash my hands every uh, minute. All right, so in a large bowl, you're going to take your can of condensed um, soup, whatever style you want. And again, this is one of those recipes It might look like you're not going to have enough for your all your chicken, but 
you're going to. Trust me. And then your cup of sour cream. This is a, uh, you know, I bought this in a cup as opposed to buying the quart of it. And we just want to mix that up well. Nothing to it. Again, we're not going to put any salt or we don't even need to put any pepper in there. Again, there's salt in the soup. There's salt in the uh, dried beef. So we don't really need any additional salt. Let's move that aside. <clears throat> All right, so another way you can do this is we're going to wrap our... Oh, these chicken breasts were pretty big, so I cut off the little... The little ends here, I was just trying to get them to kind of about be the same size. See, now I'm going to have to wash my hands anyway. Oh, no, I'm just going to handle this away. And then these, that I'll use later. I'll slice that up for into little um, um, chicken tenders or something. All right, so the other way you can do it, you can, here, let's move that. So you take your piece of bacon. One or two slices, it really kind of really depends upon how big um your, you know, whether you do a center cut. Some, um, you could use thick uh, cut bacon if you want. I prefer it with the regular kind of style. But anyway, so you can take your piece of chicken and then just kind of wrap your bacon. And then when I do it this way, I like to have the little piece of um, beef on top. So as it cooks, it'll salt down. But could it be easier, right? Right? Oh, that looks like a small piece of bacon, so I think we'll use two. All right, and um, I like to do the all uh, the white and dark meat on the same side. So if you don't do it with the chip beef, just roll it up like that. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of these. I've shown you a couple different ways to do it. I'm gonna put this all together and then we'll be back. All right, we've got all of our chicken wrapped in our bacon in our dried beef. And this is uh, just the uh, soup and cream cheese that we mixed up just a few minutes ago. And all you gotta do, put a dollop on each piece. Now, my mother, and I don't know why, would let this sit overnight. She would do this and then cover it with saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator. Um, so that's the way I do it. Um, I've got one already that's uh, already that's I made yesterday that's been in the refrigerator overnight. Um, it's not a hundred percent necessary. I, I never thought to ask her why, whether that was in the, the recipe or, I don't know, maybe she thought the, um, the sour cream would tenderize the chicken or make it uh, more juicy. Uh, but so, you don't have to do that. Like I said, that's the way I did it. And then we're just gonna kind of spread this around. Um, but it's a good thing because let's say you've got something going on on Saturday and you're going to be, you know, out most of the day. If you do this on Friday night, throw it in the refrigerator. When you get back home, all you're going to do is put it in the oven. Now, this does cook low and slow. Okay, so this is going to, I've got my oven set at um, 300 and where that's going to cook for three hours. All right, now, so this one, I'm gonna cook this. I, I'm gonna freeze this um, and we'll have it uh, in the freezer for when we're in the mood for it. Um, but you wanna cook this thoroughly before you freeze it. I'll put the um, freeze, uh, you know, how to warm it up after it's uh, frozen, or I should say, wait, we'll put it in the, the comments uh, in the recipe on, on the 
you know, on the website. Um, but cover that, throw it in the refrigerator at least a couple hours. Um, like I said, I do it overnight. And like I said, we've got one here. All right, so oop, last thing I am gonna wipe my hands off. Last thing we're gonna do is sprinkle it, put a generous uh, sprinkling of fresh ground black pepper. All right, and like I said, our oven is preheated to 350. We're gonna put it in the center oven, uncovered. And in three hours, that should be done and delicious. We'll see you in three hours. All right, our party chicken is done. Oh, that looks delicious. And there we go. Can't wait to eat it. All right, and the best part, eating. Yay! I'm so hungry. I really haven't eaten anything. I had some oatmeal this morning. Mm. <laughs> All day. Let's see. Mm. Ooh, it's got a nice little crunch. Well done through. I think I gave you a piece of dark meat. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. I don't, I've never made this for you. I've made this in nope. a long, long time. It was smell in the kitchen for the past mm. two hours. It's been, so wow. It's very good. Mmm. Oh, mm, nice, steamy, hot. Good. Good? Delicious. Yep. <laughs> Smells good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> good. Mmm. Chick is nice and tender. Mm -hmm. Nice and delicious. Mm. Well, it's it as good as I remember. I'll have to definitely add this to mm. um, our repertoire of things mm. to make. Because I've been made it a long, long time. We got some mm. corn on the cob and some sauteed green beans. Mmm, the black mm. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Mm. So, like I said, we'll put, um, I've got the other one in the refrigerator. I'll probably throw that in the oven tonight. Let it cool down a bit and then uh, in the put it in the refrigerator and put it in the freezer tomorrow. Um, and like I said, we'll put um, we'll put heating directions in the recipe. Mm. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed making our dinner with us tonight. I hope you try the recipe. Mm. My father said, like and subscribe. Check out CherryHillHomeCooking.com. See you in the next video. Ciao. Bye. Mmm. Yeah. Um, Salted beef tastes so good. Oh, I know. Mmm. Put it in. Put that in the salt. Yeah, definitely. Mmm. Mmm. This is a good one. Yep. Smokiness in the bacon. That is delicious. Mm.